Hey, what's going on guys? So, today's video is on probably one of my favorite Olight knives, or O knives, and this is the new Roboto 4. So I did save the paperwork and the packaging, which I normally don't do. Uh, just to show you this, give you some quick specs on this guy. CPM S35VN, which is fantastic. Also, we have a PEI handle scale, which you can see there, right, which essentially is Ultum, which again, we'll talk about in just a little bit here. 2.82 ounces, right, 80 grams. Um, super, super cool knife, all right? So not only do I just like the design of this knife, I really, really dig the performance, all right? And that's what usually counts when you actually carry and use your knives. First off, new packaging, at least for me anyway. We do a Velcro front so you can put your O knife patches on there. There's a ton of them out there. All right, so you can see the little layout here. We do get a little coin with this guy too. Interesting new packaging. I do like it. I don't know if I prefer the other style more than this or not, but there's a little Velcro thing to keep that in there. So we do have our little round here. Very cool with the eagle. I dig that. Right, these are just fun. I tell you, Olight, o knife they, they know what people want. They, they know what collectors want. They want collectibles, right? This is collectible. The whole thing, the packaging, the, the little uh, you know medallion you get with that, the little challenge coin, if you will. And then we have a little elastic band here. So you can accommodate pretty much any knife, and obviously, you know, it's branded for o knife so you throw an o knife in there. But here we go. Here is the meat and potatoes. It is a cool-looking blade, for sure. But what I like about this is two things. It's a simple design that works really, really well, and it has a phenomenal high-end steel. CPM S35VN is awesome. It is up there, it's with the Super Steels. Any CPM steel, it is a powdered steel, by the way. Um, and if you don't know about you know metallurgy and different knife blades and stuff, a powdered steel can have a much smaller grain structure, so you can literally get a sharper edge, all right? So it is, I mean, it's phenomenal. This thing is a razor blade. But it's in a simple form factor here. It's very reminiscent, like overall, if you showed a silhouette of this, it just reminds me a little bit of like a Sabenza or something along those lines. It's simple, but it works really, really well. Very generic blade shape here that works well. We do have a point, we do have a little bit of belly, we have a long run of a straight edge, right? Tiny bit of a, a drop point here, all right? See that flat grind as well. Just really, really nice, right? Quick specs, again, I already told you, 2.8 ounces, um, four inches in the closed position here, and has a three inch blade, all right? So they have basically an axis lock, but they're you know, calling it their um, rail lock, all right? So the rail lock, which by the way, is seen through our uh, PEI handle scales, and I'll talk about those in just a second. It's just kind of cool. You can see how the mechanism works because we have a translucent scale, so you can see the Omega Springs that are in there. Let's zoom in. Sometimes I get a little better detail with the zoom. So you can see the, the actual Omega um, Springs. That's how this works. Let's go on the back side. So it compresses that spring. That's how we unlock it, right? Close our blade and that pushes back open. So this also retains that blade in there. So it doesn't accidentally open. Once you overcome that, you can see there's no resistance. And then it pops in place to lock the knife. You can see our CPM S35VN marking on our blade. Very subtle, I do like that quite a bit. Roboto 4 on the back and a serial number. Dual thumb studs, maybe a little jimping back there. All right, see a nice pocket clip on here, which is obviously removable. You can see it's also swappable to the other side. And we have steel liners in here, which are clearly visible and skeletonized, all right, for weight reduction. A couple standoffs on the back. We also have a section here if you wanted to, you know, put a lanyard, you could do so on one of those standoffs. So pretty cool. Absolutely love the knife. It just works well, but it also looks really cool. So it has the fidget factor, you know, with their rail lock <laughs> that works well. Flick it open, shut it. You can use the lock to manipulate it, open and close. It's super smooth. It locks up perfect. There's no blade play up, down, left, right, sideways, anyways. Just a great knife. Very functional, but also looks nice. All right, so let's focus in on these beautiful scales here. This is what makes this extra special, are these amber colored scales. And this is PEI, right? So PEI, 
uh, stands for polyethermide, and it is a very cool plastic. It's a thermoplastic. Now, you guys probably have heard of Ultum. Ultum is the brand name for this plastic. So I'm assuming that they're not calling this Ultum because maybe it's a different source than the original people who made it. I don't know the details on that, but, but PEI and Ultum are the same thing. It's kind of like saying Cola and Coca-Cola, right? Same plastic, same deal. Ultum is the name brand. PEI is just what it is. So I, I'm sure you've seen a ton of gear lately. It's grown in massively in popularity using Ultum, whether it's a little EDC thing, it could be a knife uh, handle scale like this. I see pens made out of Ultum, uh, keychain, you know, all kinds of stuff. It's just really popular. So not only does this stuff look kind of cool because it's translucent and it's also this amber color, um, but it does have some interesting properties. It is chemical and flame resistant and uh, it's basically heat stable. So this can come up to really high temperatures without melting or having any kind of issues at all. All right, so I mean, do you really need that on a knife handle? No. You don't. There's nothing wrong with having G10 or a micarta or a piece of aluminum or something, but uh, it's cool looking. <laughs> it's science, right? So yeah, it's it's just pretty neat. Again, I don't think you need heat stable handle scales or a pen, you know. But it's just the latest and greatest. That's all it is. If you want to keep up with the Joneses? You got to have something Ultim or PEI to be cool. <laughs> so uh, O Knife obviously uh, saw it's popular and they're using it on their new Roboto. So I have no problems with that at all. This is actually my first experience specifically with uh, PEI. Um, and I hope to get some other gear in the future that has it. Uh, it's just interesting looking. I don't, again, the, the, the kind of advantages as far as the, the plastic itself, I don't really think it's going to be an issue for most people for knives and stuff like that. It's just kind of cool. I don't know. It's like if you had a pair of shoes or something and they're completely water resistant. If you're not in water, it doesn't matter. If you happen to be jumping in puddles, yeah, maybe you want that in your shoes. It's just one of those things. I suppose if you are around a ton of chemicals all the time, your EDC knife being somewhat, you know, chemical resistant, so if you spill some funky stuff on here, it doesn't distort the plastic or melt it or anything like that, that's kind of cool. But for me and for most of you out there, it's just a cool look. That's all. This kind of goldish uh, amber color that's translucent is nice. It's particularly cool in this knife because you can see the locking mechanism and how it works, right? You can see those skeletonized scales. So, And it's very lightweight as well. Lightweight. Very durable, cool plastic. So if you're wondering why everyone's getting this amber plastic, what is that it? Well, now you know. The Ultim slash PEI, that's the deal. So anyway, that's the uh, the latest from um, O-Knife. I've been a fan of O-Knife for a long time, ever since, uh, I mean, I'm a fan of O-Light. So ever since they started making knives, it was a no-brainer. I like O-Light lights, so let me check out their knives. And it's been really, really good thus far. There's not... There's not a whole lot of models that I don't love, really, but this one is my favorite for a bunch of reasons. It's not even the fact that it has this PEI scales on here. It's just high performance and simple. That's it. It's ergonomic. It's comfortable in the hand. That jimping does work. Um, it's a simple, classic blade profile. It opens and closes fast. It stays locked. You know what I'm saying? Nice and sharp. I mean, that's what you want in a knife. Somewhat lightweight. This, again, coming in at 2.8 ounces uh, for its size is considered lightweight, in my opinion. A lot of comparable knives are heavier. So it's somewhat light. Again, quick, locks up great, cuts well. It's going to hold a fantastic edge for a long time. What else do you want in a knife? You know what I'm saying? So there's designs that are cooler looking to me or more interesting and things like that. But sometimes plain is where it's at. That's what you gravitate towards. That's what you carry and use all the time is something that's plain like this, but it has everything I want in a knife, really. You know, it's not the perfect knife in the world because I just want to keep trying new ones. <laughs> that's why there is no perfect knife because if I found a perfect knife, I'd have to stop looking, right? So there you go, the new Roboto 4. Definitely worth checking out. If you guys have uh, any type of gear with Ultim or PEI, um, let me know down in the comment section. I'm curious what you have, what you think of it. Uh, again, this is my first experience with it. I haven't dunked this in chemicals. I haven't, you know, took a torch to this or anything like that. I'm not testing its, you know, qualities as a um, higher end thermoplastic, but I can tell you it's lightweight and it looks cool. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, knowing that it's nice and strong is a bonus. Knowing that if I was at a lab somewhere and, you know, a beaker fell over and splashed on my knife that my handles might not melt as easily. I guess it's kind of cool, but I don't visit a whole lot of labs. So I don't really care that much and I'm, I'm not really by, you know, furnaces or anything with extreme heat. It's just one of those things. I mean, 
I don't think I've ever uh, had an issue with my plastic handle scales melting or having a chemical reaction or anything like that. Uh, but it is nice to know that it's very lightweight and looks cool, but it's also not fragile. Um, if you guys remember a little while back, a couple years, SeaTech. Uh, SeaTech was immensely popular. It was a plastic that had almost like a, a chicken wire type thing that was embedded in it. It was super cool. A bunch of makers were making stuff with it, but it was fragile. I actually still have a Benchmade, I think it was a 941 maybe, with SeaTech uh, handle inserts. But it's fragile, it's cool looking. But you know, if it really took a bump or something, it would fall apart. I had a, a custom fixed blade. I had SeaTech handle scales on both sides completely. And the bottom part by the butt took a fall uh, on a hard surface. I'm assuming it was a rock. I was just using it outside, doing some wood processing. And it, it literally kind of fell apart towards the bottom, it was crumbly. So that was not cool. So the fact that this is cool looking, but is actually durable, big, uh, big thumbs up. So there you go, guys, that's the scoop. Well, let me know down in the comment section again. I'm curious what type of gear you have with the Ultim and your personal experiences with it. I think it's kind of cool. It's something different. You know, something new happens, comes along. We're all interested. That's just how it works. But now that I've uh, had a little experience with it, I do think it's really neat. I do like the look of it. Um, so I will probably be looking uh, for more gear with that Ultim in there in the future. It'd be nice to have like a pen, you know, combo like this with, uh, you know, an all Ultim bodied pen. It'd just kind of be cool. You know, plus because of the amber color here, I think it would go very well, uh, both with either copper, you know, EDC items or brass, uh, more so brass, but I still think copper would work too. It just kind of, I don't know, it, it meshes well, I think, but anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.